Hello and welcome, 27th of September, 9 o'clock in the morning. As per the past few days, very stiff northerly breeze today. What's this fire, you might be asking yourselves. Let's have the theme tune and find out. Sweet corn then, I've been taking it off the plant for the past three weeks or so, it's ready. I haven't shown you inside the green leaves how juicy those sweet corn are. And they reckon that the sooner you eat the sweet corn after taking it off the plant, the better it tastes. So why not get one off the plant, show you the inside, pop it in a pan and eat it within 10 minutes of taking it off the plant. That's the plan, just waiting for my water to boil. I, I haven't got a watch by the way, that's just, I'm waiting. So it's 20 minutes later, my water is bubbling, not quite boiling, but I'm going to get on with it because I don't want my fire to go out. Right, off we go then. Let's select our sweet corn. Most of them are ready. I'm going to pick the one nearest the edge for ease. So here we go. This one here. We'll pick a bonus one over here, just in case. Right, the time is now 9.28. The clock is ticking. Let's run, but not near the fire because that would be dangerous. Right, back to the prep area. Right, so what we got? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. In the pot it goes. Look at that, perfect. Put that in the pot with the other one. Right, don't worry, this video isn't gonna be eight minutes of sat around watching sweet corn boil. Let's have some turnip action. Turnips then, variety called Purple Top Milan. Planted these middle of July, so they've been 70, 80 days in the ground. Some of the leaves are starting to fade. One of them's cracked. You're supposed to pick one the size of a golf ball, so they're coming up today. If you remember, there's two rows. One row I didn't thin out, one row I did thin out. So let's pick them up, see if there's much difference. Dig. Dave. Dig. 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 So, we'll get the tops chopped off these and see what the results are. So we got two piles here. This pile is the one that I thinned out. This pile are the ones that I didn't thin out. I've already had seven more non-thinned out ones in previous weeks. I've had four more to add to that pile from previous weeks. 
There's a few cracked ones in the ones that haven't thinned out because you can see they're a bigger size. So I think they've just gone past um, on the not thinned out pile. We've just got a couple there that haven't grown to sufficient size. So now to weigh them and get the final result. Right, time for me to do a bit of maths at the maths desk. Let me get on with that. And the turnip results are in. The ones that I did thin out end up with 21, an average weight of 99 grams. The ones I didn't thin out, I ended up with 43, an average weight of 82 grams, so maybe 10% average weight reduction. There's an argument, if I'd have left the smaller ones in the ground for a bit longer, they would have got bigger and I've ended up with a bigger weight. But like for like, same amount of time in the ground, you end up with double if you don't thin out with a little bit of weight reduction on average. Right, so in the future I will not be thinning out my turnips. I mean, you're only supposed to sort of leave until they're about sort of golf ball size, so it might be different with other vegetables, but for me, for turnips, I'm not thinning them out ever again. Right, back to sweet corn. So about 15 minutes after I plucked it from the plant, Whacking a bit of spinach for some greenery, plated up and ready to go. Now, due to a combination of A, sudden windy period affecting my sound quality, B, despite my impeccable table manners, I'm sure no one wants to see me eat sweet corn, here's some photos. I look in awe at the magnificent feast. I contemplate my attack strategy. I take in the wonderful aroma. I go in. Well, that was the best sweet corn I've ever, ever tasted. Was it because it was so fresh off the plant? Or was it all in my mind, caught up in the excitement of cooking sweet corn on a fire at the allotment? I don't know. Doesn't matter really, does it? Well, that turned into a turnip and sweet corn special, didn't it? As always, thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Send me a comment. I'll see you next time. Cheers.